So I thought about it. I thought long and hard. What kind of father would I be to a little girl? And I don't know for sure. I don't. But I know what type of father I wouldn't be. I know what type of father I wouldn't be. And that's this dad. The dad that's like, ain't no boy touching my little girl. Uh Uh-uh. Ain't no boy dating my daughter. I'm going to lock her into the dungeon until she's 30 years old. That's right. I don't know why I make him Southern. I feel like it helps the joke. But I hope she becomes a lesbian or a nun because ain't no boy getting near my little girl. I'll never be that dad. Do you know why? Have you ever met the daughter of that dad? (laughs) She's a lot of fun. I'll tell you that. She's a lot of fun. Girl's a giver. Yeah, because you're an idiot, you fucking moron dad. You can't say that. It's like saying to a little kid, hey, don't touch that cookie. The kid's like, well, now I really want this cookie, you know? And so if you say that to her, your daughter, like, hey, you stay away from boys, she's going to be like, I'm going to suck nine dicks tomorrow, dad. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah. I got study hall right after lunch. It's a nice little block right there. I'm going to suck them all off in a row. Don't tell me what to do, dad. So, you know, just try to shoot them like people. It might work out for you. Side note, when you laugh, could you please not cover your mouth? I'm recording this, and I need more laughter. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll edit this part out. Don't worry, but I've noticed. You've, 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 you've had a good time tonight, but I, the audience listening at home would not know that you had a good time because you keep, cover, you keep covering your mouth. That's your dad? What, were you 15 when you had her? Jesus, dude, you look good. That guy looks good. I had no idea that was your dad. Well, I got to ask him, were you that dad? I don't know, man. She's wearing leather. <laughs> I take it back. We're keeping this in. This is going to stay in. This whole part's staying in. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't want to make a weird family situation for you. Also a little weird to be like, hey, Dad, you want to go see a comedy show tonight? Like, you know what people talk about here. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good. And are you two sisters? Yeah. Nice. And this is the mother? Yes. Cool. This is great. The set doesn't get safer from here. Um, <laughs> does not. Well, are you single? Are you too single? I'm not. Yes. By the way, you didn't have to hesitate. I've been talking about being married with kids the whole time. With a kid the whole time. So I'm not, I'm not asking for myself. I'm just... You gave me a look like, what should I say to this guy right now? I'm not... That would be really ballsy me to try to get laid on my album recording. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, that would be huge balls to be like, hey, this one comes right off. This part, we're, this part we're cutting, by the way. This part's getting... We're nixing this part. You're single, though? Yes. Oh, but you are as well, or no? I'm not. You're not, okay. It does make me feel good that you hesitated. Um, <laughs> I'm a dad now. I need all I can get. Um, you have a good daughter, sir. Daughters. I don't know why I brought you back into it. Um... <laughs> So that's how, you, that's how you plan a pregnancy, everybody. You know? The thing of thank you. <laughs> the thing of it is this. Is, can I get a timeout? Was this the best time for them to do that? I, I know. That's why I said I, I love you. What is, is going on? It's like, you know, it's fine. We could edit. Don't worry. CO2 tank. CO2 tank. Okay. Can we switch to bottled beers, maybe? You guys, you do <laughs> Hey, it's fine. No, it's fine. I'll, don't worry, we'll cut it, edit this. This part's not going to be on the album. That'd be really weird if I had a track where it's like, what the fuck is that noise? You know? <laughs> track nine, what the fuck's going on back there, huh? Goddamn artist up here trying to talk about jizz and whatnot, and you, you guys thought, no, it's a good time to switch tanks out. Okay, don't get awkward on me now. I, I hear it. I call it out. It's fine. Real honestly, though, how long is that going to be? Because I um. No, I want to know where my sound guy's not even there. He's totally freaking out. Going, what the fuck are you guys doing this right now? Um, is it obnoxiously getting louder? What's happening? I feel like who's ever back there is like okay, you know, like. It's like Marty talked about the women at their first show who were being really loud. 
I hate, don't be, like as a society, like I'm actually been a pretty optimistic person since I've had a child. Anyone who knew me before that was like, this guy's fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> still am, but don't be the person that when someone shushes you, you go, shh, even louder back. Don't do that. You fucked up. When someone shushes you, be like, all right, yeah, fair enough. Fair, you know, like, I, <laughs> fucking bitch, man. I, I, know, I know that was on purpose. Did you change in the Diet Coke? Tell the fucking River North Trixies to fucking have a regular Coke, all right? <laughs> regular show, I don't stop. It's recorded. I don't want to listen back going like, w was someone getting sucked into a pipe during that last part? What happened? Did someone get sucked into a child's dream halfway into the joke? Because all of a sudden I hear... Did they put a urinal on that door and it's a flush that won't work? I don't want That's like when someone falls asleep at a green light and you give them that beep. They're like, hey, but let's go. And then they look at the rear view and go, I'm going to go get sore now. It's like, you should be able to legally fucking ram them. And then police officers are like, yeah, dude, that was on you, man. He beeped. He gave you the fucking beep. You, fuck you. Fuck your Corolla. He wins. Don't be that guy. It's a problem. People just can't own up to shit. And the biggest problem in the world right now is the word ignorant. People don't know what that means. If you, call so, if you say to someone, oh, you're kind of ignorant about that, they act like you made fun of their mom. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It means you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's just it's fine. All right. All this will be edited. Danny, are we good to start again? What's going on? We're all good? Yeah. All right. Um, I know where I left off. C could you guys do some fake laughing so when the edit is in Start laughing. La la <laughs> What's annoying is as soon as you announce that you're having a baby. Look at this shit. Keep going. Keep going. All right. This is good. You guys all look good. You guys do. I'd like to put a redhead right there for me to feel safe. And, uh, you know, fellow, you know, they like to keep us together. They're trying to kill us off, you know, us redheads. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Do you have blue eyes too? Fuck yeah, you do, man. Of course you do. I don't know if you guys know this, but red hair, blue eyes, that combo, less than 1% of the world's population. Yeah. Do we get any fucking minority treatment? We don't, we really don't. And I, I'm kind of sick of it, a little bit. And I see a lot of fake redheads with dyed hair and it's enough with the cultural appropriation. You know what I'm saying? We like, no, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. In 2012, the states of Washington and Colorado legalized marijuana for recreational use, which was a good move. It was a very good move. Potheads, what's up? And both those states just had money pouring in from the revenue. I mean, their governors are doing Scrooge McDuck dives into gold. They were like, <laughs> they, all, they had new money for education. Crime was down, which makes a lot of sense. You can't steal shit when you can't find your car. Like, you know, like all like, there's no getaway, right? Like, so in the business world, if two businesses would have made a major shift like that and reaped all those awards, every other business would be like, we got to do that yesterday. Let's do that now. But here we are, eight years later, and only about 10 states have done it. We still have another 40 states that don't have recreational marijuana legal. And you know why? Because old people vote. <laughs> Young people don't, because you're all too fucking stoned to show up or something. <laughs> but all these old people vote. So there's some little old lady in West Virginia who's like, no, no, I don't like marijuana, no. <laughs> my nephew smokes it, and then his eyes are all red and funny, and no, I don't like it and then he eats all my cookies. No, I no, don't like it. My husband smoked reefer in Korea and he came back smelling like Asian pussy. I do not like it. No. That's, that's a pro-Asian vagina joke, by the way. That's pro, that's a pro, that's a pro-Asian vagina joke. That's like, that, that means it's good. I mean, you know what I mean? Because if it smelled bad, he would have washed it off by the time he got home. 
but it smells good. So he was like, no, this is. And he was so, that's, you know. Well, no, out of the corner of my eye, I see him consoling her. I'm like, I didn't say anything bad. I didn't say anything bad. What are you, what are you talking about? That's what I should call this. I didn't say anything bad. I didn't say, 